Y I for youth information. Your radio program that tackles the latest trends, information, and issues of the youth of today. F Y I for youth information. Your one-stop shop for youth-oriented talks. We tell about the latest and we break every detail. F Y I for youth information. Be the first to know. Be among the trendsetters. Be one with us. Kami ang inyong mga kachikas sa kahina. Dinilamang sa inyong youth-friendly station, DYWC. Your voice, your station. Hello mga kamigs, good day, welcome or welcome back again to our YouTube channel sa itong segment nga Evangelium Reflexio din his ato ang online ministry sa For Youth Information So today is February 24, it's Wednesday Again we are in the Season of Lent, gihapon mga kamigs, and let us start our daily reflection with the commemoration of a holy man nga ato ang nina inumdum karong adlawa. So today, we commemorate the life of Blessed Luke Beludi. So kinsa man is siya si Blessed Luke Beludi. So in 1220, Saint Anthony was preaching conversion to the inhabitants of Padua when a young nobleman, Luke Beludi, came up to him and humbly asked to receive the habit of the followers of Saint Francis. Anthony liked the talented, well-educated Luke and personally recommended him to Francis, who then received him into the Franciscan order. Luke, then only 20, was to be Anthony's companion in his travels and in his preaching, tending to him in his last days and taking Anthony's place upon his death. He was appointed guardian of Friars Minor in the city of Padua. In 1239, the city fell into the hands of its enemies. Nobles were put to death, the mayor and council were banished, and the great University of Padua gradually closed and the church dedicated to St. Anthony was left unfinished. Luke himself was expelled from the city but secretly returned. At night, he and an aunt, the new guardian, would visit the tomb of St. Anthony in the unfinished shrine to pray for his help. One night, a voice came from the tomb assuring them that the city would soon be delivered from its evil tyrant. After the fulfillment of the prophetic message, Luke was elected provincial minister and furthered the completion of the great basilica in honor of Anthony. Anthony is his teacher. He founded many convents of the order and had as Anthony the gift of miracles. Upon his death, he was laid to rest in the basilica that he had helped finish and has had a continual veneration up to the present time. So that is the short uh, background of the life of a holy man nga ato ang ginahinom dom karamakamiks nga si Blessed Luke Bilodi. So, uh, Blessed Luke Bilodi is on his way to being a saint. So once na ay miracle nga ma-approved through his intercession, ang simbahan i-declare na siya or i-acknowledge na siya as one of the saints in our 
Church. So now, mga amigs, let us proceed to our Gospel reading. Our reading is from the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 29 to 32. And then, ang atong ginawa sa Kristo na nudlo sa mga katawuhan. So, Jesus said, People of the present time are troubled people. They ask for a sign, but no sign will be given to them except the sign of Jonah. As Jonah became a sign for the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be a sign for this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up on Judgment Day to the people of these times and accuse them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear, to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and here there is greater than Solomon. The people of Nineveh will rise up on Judgment Day with the people of these times and accuse them. For Jonah's preaching made them torn from their sins, and here there is greater than Jonah. So mga kamigs, kung sa mayato ang mapupo ni Ning at ang Ibanghilyo, karong adlawa, na pwede natong i-apply sa ito ang pangayon ng Ibanghilyo. So, let me share to you mga kamigs kung unsay ako ang um, kanang reflection ni ini. And then let me also know your reflection, your thoughts about our gospel reading for today by commenting down on the comment section below. And um, through it, let's learn together mga kamigs. And Jesus in our gospel today emphasizes that he is greater than Solomon, and he is greater than Juna. So mas labaw pa siya kay mas labaw pa siya kay ni Solomon o mas labaw pa siya kay ni Juna. So si Solomon is um, is a wise man. So kung wise si Solomon mas uh, mas labaw pa ang atong ginong Yeso Kristo. And si Juna, because of him, because of his preaching, ang mga taga Nineve na kinusos sila mga salaog na usob sa ilang kinabuhi. No? And then, mas labaw pa gira itong Ginong Yeso Kristo. Nga ang preaching sa itong Ginong Yeso Kristo, ang mga pulong sa itong Ginong Yeso Kristo, makapausob gayon o kinabuhi. It would really transform lives. It would transform hearts. Nga sa ato pa mga kamigs, no? para na ako, kung aduna tay uh, will or kung ano na tayo kagustuhan nga uh, mausab ang atong kinabuhi na kung ano na tayo gusto nga matransform ang atong kinabuhi into something uh, wonderful, beautiful, meaningful uh, into something uh, sakto, into something uh, um, uh, haom diha sa atong konsensya no? di na tayo manginahanglan pa o bisag unsa pa nga mga sinyalis no di na ta kinahanglan nga mangayo pa og bisag unsa nga mga um, specific signs na ato ang kinahanglan pangayoon sa Ginoo or ato ang paabuton because uh, we have Jesus himself no uh, Jesus himself gave himself to us no um gihata gi-offer ang kaugalingon sa atong ginong Yeso Kristo nga, ika na ito. No? So kung gusto ta o kabagwahan sa atong kaugalingon, all we, have, all we have to do is to come to Jesus. He is waiting for us um, 24-7. No? 24-7 waiting for us. Kung kanos ata mo balik, liha ka niya. Kung kanos ata mo uh, dakos pagbalik, liha ka niya sa unsa man nga pamaagi sa mga mga itong pangitanan. So, Lord, for me, mga kamigs, based on my own experience, uh, through the church, specifically through the sacraments. First is through the sacrament of reconciliation o gitawag na ito na ang sacramento sa kumpisal. So, pinaagin ini ato ang mabati or mafeel ang gugma, ang kaluoy sa gino, ang iyang presensya, nga naghulat ragyad siya kanato kung kanos at tamo balik diha kaniya pinaagi sa kompisal no so in the sacrament of confession uh, dili ta i judge sa pari but hinoon and uh, ang pari is mo act in the person of Christ he is the representative of Christ no so 
the words of the priest would be our assurance that Christ is really waiting for us and He is always ready to forgive us. He is always ready to help us to, tra to be transformed. And then what else? Jesus is also offering Himself, His very Self, through the Eucharist. So, diha sa pagsimba nato sa misa, diha sa pagkalawat nato atong madawat ang lawas dugo kalagpakadiyos ni sa atong binungo sa Kristo. And He, that is the real presence of Christ si Kristo na, no, mga kamigs, whether you believe it or not, that is Christ. Basta, uh, ma-consecrate na siya di, ang pano gambino diha sa um, during sa misa. So, what else can we ask for? Mga kamigs, brothers and sisters, is come to Jesus. He is always waiting for us to meet with Him, to talk to Him, to just feel His presence, no? So, if I need some wisdom, some uh, wise advices, some words of wisdom, I, I, all I have to do is come to Jesus in the sacraments, to feel His presence in the sacraments. Sa sacrament of confession or sa sacrament of uh, the Eucharist. Yeah, sa sacramento sa misa. Kung nanginahanglan ko o uh, aside from wisdom, kung nanginahanglan ko o kanang pagbagpo sa ako ang pamaagi sa pagkinabuhi. No? Kung kanian to kanang murag ah uh, pamaagi nga labag sa konsensya, no? I have to come to Jesus. He alone can heal me through these sacraments. Because He channeled His grace through these sacraments. He, uh, he instituted the sacraments. No? And, and these are the sacred signs of His loving and fatherly goodness. Para ka na ito, mga kamigs, brothers and sisters in Christ. Kay sa ato pang salmo karon, it, it is said, A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. So, all we need to do is to humble ourselves before the Lord, to have a heart that is kanang mapaobsanon, o kanang puno o pagsubo sa mga hiwi na nabuhat and then yes the one of the sign nga kita mapaobsanon og andam na ang um, mubalik diya sa Gino is by coming to the sacrament of confession one of the great sign that nanginhanglan gud ta sa a presensya sa Ginoo og nituo gud ta sa presensya sa Ginoo na ang ato ang Dios buhi og naagayod na nangita og nagbantay kanato og nagulat kanato sa atong pagbalik niya kaniya then one great uh, one way to show that mga kamigs that hunger that thirst for his presence is by coming by meeting by um, hugging Him through the sacrament of confession and by receiving Him in the Eucharist. Amen. Praised be Jesus and blessed be Mary. And the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.